to another Form Titan video and in this video we're going to talk about field labels. So what are these? And these are pretty much the same for any field or element that you, you put into your layout. And then these labels will appear and I'll show you a couple of things you can do with them. First, you can hide it. So if you click on these labels, you can just hide them if you want. For example, a use case might be that you've already got a placeholder text like enter name here. So you don't really need the label because it specifies what it is. In that case, you may just want to hide it. So to do that, you'll just simply need to click on the element itself, go to style, click label, and then say hide or unhide label. So that's one. <coughs> so let's get rid of this and I want to show you something else as well. How to move the label around 360. So you click on the label itself look at the style and then alignment and then you've got a bunch of options you can say left which it already is um, you can say top left and it will appear on top left you can say top center top right <coughs> one second top right right bottom left bottom center and then finally bottom right <coughs> so all sorts of options available you can even style it so when you click on the label itself, you can go to style, and then you've got a bunch of options. You can style the font, for example. We'll say the font is white, and the background is black. We can even change the size and position. We can even enter our margin, talk about the alignment. You can even change the border, so you can say it's a solid. <coughs> you can increase the thickness of that border if you want, or not. You can say the border color will be red so lots of different stuff available you can even enter shading um, you can even enter CSS for that specific border uh, label if you want so lots of stuff av <coughs> available for you to use within the label functionality itself and it pretty much applies to any element that you drag across to the layout that you'll be able to see the label and you can configure the label same way uh, for every other element as well by just watching this video itself. So I hope you're taking something away from it and I'll see you on the next video.